The United States is hosting more than 20 nations in the largest naval exercise ever held in the Gulf. The 12-day event is focused on a contingency plan if Iran ever attempted to block the Strait of Hormuz. Cal Perry is on board the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. The U.S. military has named the exercise IMCMEX, IMEX, which stands for International Mining Countermeasures. Now, that's the major concern from Iran. The concern amongst U.S. military uh, officials is that the Iranian Navy could lay sea mines into the Strait of Hormuz, which is why you see all this activity on the deck behind me. This exercise will last 12 days and is including 30 nations. Now, the U.S. military is not naming the nations that are taking part in the exercise. They say it's up to each individual nation whether or not they want to talk to the press. One aircraft carrier in the Gulf, the other aircraft carrier is actually in the Arabian Sea. They are supporting the exercise. The captain of this aircraft carrier telling us what the U.S. Navy already has, that they consider the Strait of Hormuz to be international waters. So they will, as they say, protect it from any potential Iranian retaliation to a strike, which would include scuttling the strait. That is, of course, a huge concern to military officials who know and admit that that could really bring the economies of the West to their knees. So the mine threat is very, very difficult. And in fact, if you look back at the history from all the way before World War I, that cheap $1,500 piece of explosive can take out hundreds of millions of assets in shipping and cargo. A large part of this exercise is, of course, the message that's being sent to Iran. Iran has said it'll be watching the events in the Gulf this week very closely for many of the countries involved. That's exactly the point which is also why so many media have been invited out to film the exercise over two dozen individuals. The location and the location of this carrier strike group is also important. We were in the op center late last night, a place we couldn't film, but we noticed at one point we were just 50 miles off the coast British of Iran. British naval forces are taking part in a joint operation with 30 other countries to sweep the Persian Gulf of Mines as tensions grow between Israel and Iran over Tehran's nuclear power program. The three warships are part of the six strong British fleet, which are currently present in the area. And they join Saudi Arabia, the US and France in a show of strength, which is designed to warn off Tehran from contemplating disrupting trade routes and Israel's threat of attack. Explaining the role of the British presence, the Defence Secretary Philip Hammond said the UK is committed to a standing presence in the Gulf to ensure freedom of navigation in international waters, such as the Straits of Hormuz, and that any attempt by Iran to do this would be illegal and unsuccessful. Meanwhile, military officials involved in the Gulf naval exercises have downplayed the political significance of the operation, with Vice Admiral John Miller, commander of the U.S. Naval Forces, saying this exercise is about mines and the international effort to clear them. But whatever the explanation for this committed show of international naval power in the Persian Gulf, 30 countries supporting each other and Israel sent a very clear message to Iran that they are all in it together. I am Anne Salter, stay tuned for the very latest news on this Persian Gulf story with me at ibtimes.co.uk. Israel's military launches a surprise large-scale exercise Wednesday in the occupied Golan Heights, testing its battle readiness amid tensions over Iran's nuclear drive and civil war in Syria. A military spokeswoman said the exercise was part of a routine training schedule. Israel Radio said the drill simulated a sudden outbreak of hostilities on the Golan Heights that would require swift troop deployment. The exercise comes as Israel is urging world powers to set a red line for Iran's nuclear program. Iran has vowed to strike back against Israel if it is attacked. Israel fears such retaliation could include rocket salvos from Iran's allies in Lebanon and Gaza. It is also concerned rogue elements in Syria could seize chemical weapons and launch attacks.